Welcome to this tutorial on AliCare Dimension Styles. Before dimensioning a drawing, it is a good idea to set up the dimension styles. These could be set up beforehand and saved into a template drawing. To set up the dimension styles, go to Settings, Dimension Styles, and the Dimension Styles dialog is displayed. Firstly, we will add a new style by clicking on the Add button. Type in a new name for the star and click OK. The star is added to the stars list. We will run through the tabs along the bottom to set up our style as required. Click on the lines tab. Here you can change the color, line weight and switch the lines on and off, left and right, as required. You can also change the spacing for the running dimensions. Click on the Witness tab. You can again set the colour, line weight, and turn the witness lines on and off, left and right. The gap the witness line will start away from the drawing and the extension the witness line will extend past the dimension line may be set. Check the use fixed length option to set the length of the witness lines to all be the same length. If you use this option you can input the length required. This is used for architectural drawings. Click on the arrows tab Select the arrow style from the drop down list. It is a good idea to create a leader style as the leader error is normally larger than the dimension error. Click on the text tab, select a color and a text style from the drop-down list. The text style will be the styles created for use in the drawing. If the height block is greyed out, it means that the height has been given in the text style. To input a height in the dimension styles, the text styles must have a height of zero. An angle may be given and the text is rotated. The gap is the distance the text will sit away from the line. The text will also be aligned vertically or horizontally. Click on the Units tab. Set the number of decimal places for the linear and angular dimensions. Select the full checkbox to have the trailing zeros displayed when dimensioning. You can set the decimal separator. You can change the linear scale, which will change the dimension. You can set a prefix or a suffix for the dimension or set the suffix to the unit symbols. Click on the fitments tab. Here you can set the scale for the entire dimension. You can select to force a line through the dimension or turn the line off, or force the text outside or inside, depending on your requirements. Use the redirection arrows to scroll to the end of the list. Click on the Tolerance tab. You can set the tolerance type from the list and have None, Limits, or Deviations displayed. 
Lastly, click on the center marks tab. Cross, no lines, just places a cross at the center point of the selected circle and arcs, while cross with lines add center lines that extend past the circumference of the circle, the length inputted. You can view the various types of dimension in the sample box by changing the type in the drop down list. Once the style has been created, click OK. This style is saved with the drawing and if the drawing is closed without saving, the style will be lost. We suggest you save the style into a template drawing. Look out for our next tutorial on using linear dimensions and visit our website to find out more about Alicad.